Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 3rd, 2021, and it is a cold and snowy morning here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Perfect January weather. So let's get our pipe lit up here. This morning I am smoking my Stan Nokowski gift from my buddy Christian and the tobacco is Carter Hall and I've got some coffee and I don't have a place to put it down so we need to need to do a bit of rearranging here hmm. you stay there so, as I'm rearranging things, I uh, hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. I don't know about you, but this is the last weekend of vacation for me. I go back to work on Monday. There, I think that's good. So, yes, I go back to work on Monday. Um, it's been a weird vacation, to be honest, because, you know, I've spent a lot of time right here, uh, which is what I wanted to do. Um, but when I'm working, I'm spending a lot of time right here. So it, it was almost like not having a vacation. And yeah, my wife and I were talking yesterday about how we should have probably planned some other things. You know, just some day trips, drives, whatnot, just to make it seem more like a change in, in the routine. But the truth is, I mean, I appreciate her saying that, and I would be, have been happy to do it, but I didn't really want to. You know, I, I was, I wanted to relax. I just wanted to do the things I wanted to do. And for me, that was come down here, work a bit on the organization of the shop, do some pipe work uh, if I could, and I couldn't because I can't get the darn supplies. And... Uh, yeah, work on my fly tying stuff. So that's what I did, and I'm happy about it. And tomorrow I'll go back to work, and I will spend eight hours doing that work, which I enjoy, and then I'll switch over and do some some of this stuff. So it's all it's all good. It just I just like there to be more of a discontinuity between work and vacation. Such is life. If that's the biggest problem you have uh, in these days, I guess you're doing really well. So, enjoying some Carter Hall this morning. Um, it's a bit early. This is actually my first bowl. And, you know, there's been some buzz lately about, uh, I'm going to get it all wrong, but uh, it doesn't matter what the, what the details are uh, in terms of who bought what and, and all that. Uh, the fact is the company that, makes Carter Hall, uh, Middleton apparently sold the rights to all of its tobacco products to Altria, I think. And now they may or may not be continuing to make Carter Hall and Prince Albert. Uh, you know, it, it'll be sad if they don't. But the way I look at it is I've got enough Carter Hall to last me a long time. And I had never planned on buying Carter Hall until I ran out. And I'm not going to buy Carter Hall until I run out. And if when I run out, it's not available, I'll buy something else. I'll get by. It'll be fine. You know, I'd rather take that approach and let folks that maybe never had a chance to try it buy some of it. Um, rather than me go out and, you know, hoard up the the last 20 tubs of Carter Hall so that I know I can still have four tubs left when I'm long gone. Um, nah, it doesn't make sense. Tobacco is ephemeral by its very nature. I mean, it's meant to be burned. We have no, no reason to expect that it's always going to be there. It doesn't make sense. It's a natural product. It's subject to the weather and and the will of of men and you know as we've seen in syria the the uh political 
climate and everything it is it is by its very nature a completely unpredictable and ephemeral product and for us to expect it to always be there uh the same thing to always be there from year to year is just crazy so yeah someday i'm gonna that'd be an interesting project and you could probably do it mentally uh if you, if you weren't trying to think about 15 things at the same time like i am but it would be really interesting to just list off all the things that can affect a tobacco blend. Uh, I don't mean today. I mean, like in from the moment the seed touches the soil to the moment you pack it in your pipe. What what could what things could change how that leaf behaves? And boy, there's that's a long list of things. Yeah, so why we would ever expect it to be the same is, uh, we're, we're kind of silly in that regard. But there's no denying Carter Hall is good, and it goes well with coffee. Some black 8 o'clock. Ah, uh, so let's see. Oh, I put a, a video on a, an exclusive Rumble video up, and I put in, um, what's it called, a post on YouTube letting people know about that. I'm, I'm going to do most of my work stuff cross-post to YouTube and Rumble, but I thought, you know, I've been asking people to get over there and, and, and join Rumble. I need to do something to show that I'm invested in it, and YouTube doesn't like my tobacco videos. So why not? I, I, I did a, uh, a tobacco impressions video of uh, Cornell and Deal's uh, Dreams of Kadath. And I, I put that up yesterday on Rumble, put a post on YouTube to let folks know where it was. And uh, yeah, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Um, it's, uh, it's ultimately going to hit the fan, guys. And it's just nice to have a place to land. It's going to hit the fan in general this week. Uh, this, is, this, this, this is a big one. And uh, you know, for, you, for those of you that are not paying attention and just listening to the media, we're about to have one of the greatest tests our Constitution has ever experienced. Uh, and I don't think... We're, we're going to be in a situation where half the country is really pissed off at the other half of the country. Pardon my French. Did, did they say pardon my French in France? I, I have always wondered that. I mean, it sounds... Do, do French people get upset when you say pardon my French? Um, I, 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 I'm curious about that. I know why we say it. I just... I wonder if it's... I hope it's not offensive. I didn't mean to offend the French. Ah, there I go, offending the French again. So, yeah, the, there's been issues with the mail, as you've heard me talk about several times, and I'm still waiting for a piece of acrylic that I need to work on a pipe. Which means that my waiting list has stalled um, so, <laughs> and so far has not been very successful so the pipe I'm trying to work on is number one on the list number two dropped off I emailed number three to send me their pipe they never responded so if I don't hear from them by tomorrow morning I'm going to email number four and I expected this to happen uh, to some extent you know but I thought that I'd at least have a pipe under my belt by now. Uh, and it's it's entirely the fault of the post office. Because the stuff was shipped out the day after I ordered it, and it just isn't here. So, we'll keep moving through through that list, and eventually somebody will want to send me something. You know, I hope. <laughs> 
I think a lot of people kind of get put off by the initial number. You know, it's, I think we're up to 19 now. And you say, oh gosh, I'm going to be number 20. Um, it's going to take forever. Well, if I could get the supplies, it wouldn't take forever because I'd be well, well past probably eight or nine at this point. Uh, but, you know, especially since people are going to drop out. Well, yeah. It's just frustrating that I <laughs> I have to wait for this piece of acrylic. I, I really can't do anything else until I get it. And I, I don't like that. You know, I, I have lots of other things in stock. If it was an ebonite stem, I could I could do it. If it was, you know, many, many, you know, I've got a lot of bands. I've got a lot of different colors of acrylic. I, you know, I'm pretty well stocked in general, but this was a case, and you'll understand when you see the video, where I wanted to do a match to something. And I think I found, the, and that's, that's the really, the, the real crux of the matter is I don't know that this is going to be a good enough match yet until I get it in hand, because it's hard to, hard to know based just on the pictures. So anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. Such is the life of a pipe repairman. Had a really, really nice live stream on on uh, this past Friday. I, I enjoyed it greatly, and I've gotten a lot of very kind comments about it as well, and I appreciate that. It was, um, yeah, nothing, nothing in particular. I honestly, I, I started getting these people saying, "Oh boy, I really enjoyed that live stream," and I thought, "Well, what, what did we actually talk about?" I, I don't even remember, because when you're in the moment, you don't, you know, you're not processing everything that's going on you're just talking to people and but uh, it was a lot of fun it was definitely a lot of fun um this coming friday uh january 8th we've got jeremy reeves from cornell and deal and i'm really looking forward to that uh i'm gonna be talking to jeremy later this week just to kind of get the logistics worked out uh spoke to him last year uh seems like a really great guy and I think uh, he's excited about, I, I know he's excited about being on the show. He's, he's told me that. And I think it's, it's going to be a great opportunity for folks to ask questions about Cornell and Deal, questions about tobacco blending in general, uh, certainly questions about Burley, because in my opinion, nobody does Burley quite like Cornell and Deal. So that'll be fun. And... I'm hoping to do more like that in in the coming year. I talked about this on Friday, not exclusively. You know, I still want to talk to guys in in the YTBC. That that's really the primary goal. But you know, bringing in a few folks from the outside that have some information relevant to our our uh, passion in pipes, then I I think that's a fine thing. And beyond that, you know, don't worry about the rumble thing. It's there as a plan B, but it's going to, it's going to become something of its own. It already is, you know, it's happening. There's nothing, uh, nothing that's going to change it at this point because there's, there's a critical mass there now. And, uh, I recommend you get on the train, but it don't matter. It, it's, It'll still be there when, when this all goes down. It'll just be a little bit harder for you to find folks. But they're there. You know, you know who to, you find one, you found them all, right? Because we're all interconnected in some way. So. But it doesn't have live streaming capabilities. So, you know, that's not going to change. I'm going to continue to live stream on this platform um, as long as they let me. Yeah, so by and large, th this coming year is not going to be that different from uh, what we've had in past years. And I'm looking forward to just continuing to do the kind of things we do. Um, we'll have fun. Well, folks, I think that's... Um, 
I think I said everything that I needed to say today. And I said several things that I didn't need to say. Did I mention Carter Hall is really good? All right, guys. Buckle in. It's going to be an interesting week. I wish you all the best. I hope you're, you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a fantastic week ahead. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.